Hello class, welcome to 1.4 where we're talking about multiplying. So it's going to start off with fairly small numbers. Let's say we have 12 times 3. Remember multiplying is basically adding. So this is saying that you're adding 12 three times. So, but we don't need to worry about that. Just do it 3 times 12 equals 36. If we have something like 28 times 8. The easy way to do these is, again, do it vertically. So we're going to say 28 times 8. And here, we're going to multiply the bottom times the top. So it's going to be 8 times 8 is 64. Carry the 6. 8 times 2 is 16. Plus 6 is 22. So the answer here would be 20 or 224. If we have something a little bit bigger, 950 times 7. Again, do it vertically. 950 times 7. 7 times 0 is 0. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 9 is 63. Plus 3 is 66. So the answer is 6,600. 50. Then you're going to have somewhere you're looking for area of a, um, well, first let's do one that has two digits in each. So 54 times 81. So it doesn't matter what order really you put these in. So I'm just going to put 54 times 81. So first you're going to multiply the ones. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 5 is 5. Then for the 10 space, you're going to have a placeholder, which is a 0 here. And now you're going to 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 3 is 43. And now you're going to add these numbers. So 4 plus 0 is 4, 5 plus 2 is 7, and it's just 4, 3. So 4, 3, 7, 4 would be the answer here. And let's say we have some that are three digits each. So 634 times 3, 73. So we're going to do it the same way, um, one line at a time. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. 3 times 6 is 18. Plus 1 is 19. Put a placeholder 0. And we have 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times 3 is 21. Plus the 2 is 23. 7 times 6 is 42. Plus the 2 is 44. Put now two placeholders. And we have 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. 3 times 6 is 18. Plus 1 is 19. Now we add all numbers. 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. 0 plus 8 plus 0 is 8. 9 plus 3 plus 2 is 15. 1 plus 1 plus 4 is 6. 4 plus 9 is 13. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So the answer here would be 236,582. Okay, then you can have the word problems. And we're going to go back to a rectangle, length times width. And here we're going to find the area, which is just the length times the width. So, if we're given a 25 and a 17. For area, we're going to multiply those numbers. So I'm going to say 17 times 25. 5 times 7 is 35. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 3 is 8. Put the zero placeholder. 2 times 7 is 14. 2 times 1 is 2. Plus the 1 is 3. Add the numbers. We get 5, 12, and 4. So 425 would be the answer here. So remember, area is where we're multiplying. Perimeter is where we're adding. Okay, next we're going to say have something like a computer... costs 
$576. And we're going to rent to own. And it's $29 per week for 24 weeks. Okay, so what the question is, how much more are we paying? So how much more are we going to pay if we do the rent to own rather than just buy it straight out? So what first we're going to do is find out how much we pay when we rent to own. So it's going to be 29 times 29 times 24. So 29 times 24. 4 times 9 is 36. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 3 is 11. Put the 0 placeholder. 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. When we add these up, we're going to get 696. So we, if we rent to own, we pay 696. For the $576 computer, so how much more did we pay? We're going to subtract the $576, and we're going to get $120. So this means that we paid an extra $120 by renting to own rather than paying it all off at once. And that's it for 1.4.